Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today and thank you for helping fund transdisciplinary research around the world. This video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete an institution-specific annex for a Belmont Forum CRA, or Collaborative Research Action. This video is designed for institutions who are funding or supporting a Belmont Forum CRA. The annex is a critical component of this process as is how funders communicate potential applicants' eligibility requirements. It must be filled in at least one month before a CRA is launched. So, to make sure this process is as smooth as possible, we're going to help you navigate through each section seamlessly. Let's dive right in! So before we get started, let's make sure you know where to find the form. The Institution Specific Annex is typically file located in the Belmont Forum Shared CRA Drive, shared with you by the Secretariat Coordinator or a member of the TPO. If you do not have access to this, please do get in touch. Now, once you've located the form, it should look like this. It's a comprehensive document split into several sections, each requiring specific information. Today, we're going to walk you through each section, uh, ensuring that you have a clear understanding of what needs to be filled in. So, our first box is the duration of time. Here you fill in the appropriate duration of funding available. So typically this spans three to four years, but do keep in mind that some institutions may have different timeframes. Now, moving on to the second box, country or countries supported. List all the countries your institution can fund or support. So some institutions can fund individuals and or organizations from one country, other multiple countries. Please do list all eligible countries here. In the third box, provide clear description qualifications of eligible participants. So this can include requirements like a PhD, university researcher status, or simply writing NA if there are no specific qualifications. Box four then deals with stipulations for the maximum number of researchers per consortium in the consortium. Here you should specify any restrictions such as funding no more than two researchers in one project or salary for the consortium lead only. Now let's talk about the fifth box. So this is the type of contribution and amount of contribution. So choose monetary, in-kind or both. If it's in-kind, describe this contribution. So for example, equipment, expertise, uh, or any other non-monetary resource, resource such as access to data. Here, the K euro in brackets denotes kilo euro, which means 1,000 euros. So for example, five kilo euros uh, would be equivalent to 5,000 euros. The sixth box then addresses the maximum amount that can be requested per project or by researcher. Insert the appropriate amount per researcher or per team per country. Again, this is to be written in kilo euros and specify the amount if the amount is per researcher or per project. In box seven, outline restrictions for use of funds. So this could include limitations on salaries, research costs, overhead or any other restrictions. Be clear about how the funds should be allocated based on your institution's policies. Moving on to eighth box, specific themes within the core. So if there, are, if there are preferences for only specific themes your institution will fund, make sure to include them here. If there are no restrictions, you can write all in this box. In the ninth box, provide information of where to submit the proposal. So in this case, all proposals will be submitted via www.bfgo.org. If there are parallel requirements for submission to your institution, please also specify the instructions here. Box 10 is additional information. So this section is for you to include any supplementary or specific requirements that may not neatly fit into the other sections of the form. So for instance, your institution might require additional documentation around partnerships, mentorship, and or gender equity. So please utilize this section to provide any pertinent information that ensures clarity and accuracy. Finally, uh, the 11th box. So here you identify the GPC point of contact. This is where you include the name and email contact or contacts of any for any queries or clarifications. For inspiration, feel free to check previous CRAs and annexes associated with them to see how other entities are filled in the form. You can do this at www.belmontforum.org slash CRAs. 
And there you have it. I hope this video makes the process of completing the Belmont Forum Institution Specific Annex feel a little more manageable. Should you have any questions, feel free to reach out at info at belmontforum.org. Thank you for tuning in and thank you again for helping fund transdisciplinary research.